Kevin Towers was a talented right-handed pitcher at Brigham Young University. Former Padre Wally Joyner was his teammate at BYU. He was a very no, you know, no nonsense uh, type of a player. When he got the ball, he was going to win. Uh, tremendous competitor. He was a power pitcher. One of, the, one of the same kind of arm he likes to acquire for his bullpen is what he was. He, was, he could throw. The Padres drafted Towers in the first round in 1982, but after eight minor league seasons that included an elbow injury, Towers was forced from the field. He went into scouting, starting at the bottom, working for both the Pirates and the Padres. He earned the role of scouting director with the Padres in 1993, and when the team was looking for a new general manager following the 1995 season, Towers was asked to sit in and ask candidates questions during the interviews. And at one point I said, you know, I think we have the right guy. He said, really who? And I said, you. And he was shocked, uh, surprised, um, uh, and uh, disinclined, I must say, initially. Um, uh, but uh, I asked him just to take a little time to think about it. Uh, he had shown himself throughout this process to be very uh, objective, to be very loyal, uh, and, and to be the kind of personality as well as the kind of talent that we wanted to have in the general manager's position. Towers was a master at finding players like himself who had a burning desire to succeed. His remarkable baseball recall helped as he and his team evaluated every player on every club in the big leagues and in the minors. He is an astoundingly good evaluator. So when someone proposes a trade to you, you know, hey, we'd like to acquire so-and-so, he can almost off the top of his head give you the list of guys he would be willing to take from you. He knew the other aspects of hitters and what their faults were the pluses and minuses of a fielder, and just more in-depth as far as baseball was concerned. It just wasn't one certain subject. I think that comes from playing the game. I think it comes from being in a locker room, being in that atmosphere where you realize that that personal touch, that influence of, of what a guy's makeup is in the tough situations. I think Kevin Towers could identify that. Towers and his predecessor at the Padres, Randy Smith, are credited with building San Diego's 1998 National League champions. It was a fun-loving bunch, and Towers fit right in. Kevin kind of set that, that tone of it's okay to be the guy that can communicate with a lot of his players. Towers' touch led the Padres to four division titles and a World Series. He later led the Diamondbacks to a division title as their GM. But Kevin Towers was even better at caring for the people he worked with and being just one of the guys. He generates a lot of uh, goodwill and loyalty just by the way he treats people. Great sense of humor. I mean, really, really good sense of humor. And just a guy you love being around. When he walked in a room, you would gravitate to Kevin. I can't tell you how many people tell me when I see him Kevin treated me so well and did so much for me. Always a fighter, he battled thyroid cancer for more than a year. Kevin Towers is survived by his wife, Kelly. He was just 56 years old.